about that adjustment. What was it like for you going through seeing the change on the other side of the safety, seeing Brendan White eventually take that role? Um, all season, I couldn't really get too, too comfortable because I was like switching, switching sides and, and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but now I'm, I'm solidified in my position and I'm just, I'm just happy to, to see him blossom into the player he is now and I, I can't wait to, to see him play on uh, Tuesday. Now I know that you probably get asked about the draft a lot. Have you thought about what you're going to do in the NFL draft coming up this year? A little bit, but my main focus is right here and right now and winning this game for my teammates and Coach yeah. Meyer. And what have you seen out of Washington? What have you seen out of that? Jake Browning? And obviously, they have a really good game. What are you, what are you focusing on when you look at Washington's offense? Yeah, um, they really, they really have no weakness. Um, talented across the board, really, really good team. And um, we definitely have a challenge coming up, and uh, I'm excited for it. This might be, I don't know if you've looked at this at all, but it's something I've looked at. Do you guys practice if quarterbacks do pooch bunts or anything of that sort? Because Jake Browning, he had a big one against Alabama. He's done it in the past. Is that something you've looked at at all as a defense? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, yeah. um, who do you think would get the pooch bunt? Who do you think would return it on, if you were on defense and you had to deal with that? Um, do they line up in like an offensive formation? Yeah, they line up in the offensive formation and the quarterback steps just, back and he just punts it. Nobody would get it then. <laughs> just go in the end zone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah. Hey, Jordan, we have a couple of fan questions. So we had Instagram uh, followers call in, uh, basically ask questions. Okay. Uh, and so one of the first ones that they asked was, what's your favorite Rose Bowl game of all time? Sure. Probably my favorite. I don't know. I was, I was young and I was in and out of sleep during it, but uh, probably the USC versus uh, Texas when Vince Young was playing. That that was that was a crazy. One. And uh, another one we got here was called out. Who was your biggest influence that made you want to play football when you were a kid? Um, probably my older brother. Really, I'll just uh, cause he's he's four years older and I would basically just do whatever he did. So, um, yeah, I was just inspired by him and just wanted to be just like him, and that's really what it was. And um, he was he was able to actually play at UCLA, so this is his stadium. So it's really cool just being able to keep it in the family. Yeah. And uh, just one more for you. Uh, now that the season's kind of, you know, we got your last game of the season, 2018 is coming to a close. Do you have a favorite game of 2018? Favorite game. Probably, probably when we beat two on North. Um, this is why we played that day. It's just, it was the way we knew we could play all season. We just, we just hadn't done it up to that point. But uh, just to do it against our rival was just, just a great feeling. Especially because it was on Senior Day. It was just, it was just great. A lot of emotions in that game. So. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jordan. Thank you. Jordan, uh, about giving up too much and what you guys want to try and do to stop Washington. I mean, what, what's the mindset of the defense as you, as you get closer to, to game time? Um, I would say they're, they're just a really talented offense. Um, everybody's going to have to make plays in this game. It's going to it's gonna be on the DBs, linebackers, and D-line. Just It's going to be a full defensive effort um, trying to stop these guys. And that's the kind of challenge we want, and we're, we're excited for it. You've studied Washington on film. What do you see with their quarterback uh, as you look at him and the decisions yeah. that he makes? Um, I know he's very accurate, and uh, he's a playmaker. And um, he's bound to make a few few big plays here and there. And um, he can make plays with his feet as well. So uh, I wouldn't say he's a dual-threat quarterback, but he, he could definitely keep plays alive and, um, yeah, and threaten you that way too. So, so yeah. Who's the receiver that you're keeping an eye on? I mean, I hear that they're all good. Right. But you know, if, there's, if you had to pick one out and say that's the guy, we got to really keep in check during the game. Um, I'll say Aaron Fuller. Yeah. Is that his name? Aaron Fuller. Yeah. I know his last name just because it's mine, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, he, he's he's a really good player and he and he attacks the ball well as well. And uh, I know he's like the leading leading targets. So um, so yeah, I would I would say him. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, thank you. How's it going today, Jordan? Good. How are you? 
excited to be here in California practicing in, uh, I don't know, 65 degree weather. It's amazing. <laughs> Nothing Where are you better. From originally? Jersey. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're on the opposite side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how has the practice been? We saw a little bit the other day. It seemed like you guys, you know, definitely everyone excited to be here, but kind of at ease. It seemed like everything was pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're used to working hard, and uh, when, it's, when it's time to practice, it's time to practice, but we're definitely enjoying, enjoying it out here and enjoying the weather and seeing, seeing different places as well. So, yeah, it's fun. Uh, looking at Washington, I know you all are preparing for you know, their run game. Uh, they have a good offense. Uh, what have you been most uh, preparing for, so would you say, as far as to, to take them on? Um, they have a pretty balanced attack, so we've really just been preparing for everything. Um, all the different looks they give and different formations and different plays. But, uh, but yeah, we know we'll see something new come uh, Tuesday as well because they've had a whole month to prepare just like we have. So, uh, so yeah, we're, we're just excited for the challenge. Is it kind of surreal being here? It is. Um, it's, it's definitely surreal for me just because my brother used to play in the stadium. He went to UCLA. So, uh, so yeah, it's kind of like a, a little family tradition playing in the stadium. I'm, I'm happy I get to push it along. Cool. Yeah. So is your family yeah. coming out? Yeah. yeah they're coming out. Did you watch the playoff games yesterday? Bits and pieces, yeah. but, but not full games. What were your thoughts on uh, those, those games? Uh, the teams that won deserve to win, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Dwayne said he was like, well, I thought we should have been in it after watching that game. Do you feel that way? Yeah. But I mean, that loss that we had is it kind of kind of killed us, but uh, you can't can't blame them for leaving us out. But I mean, I think if we were in there, it would look a little different. But you think you would have had a better shot? Yeah, me personally. Yeah. Any pick now? You do you think is going to win the national championship? I don't. Nice. Uh, Focused on this game. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not often that defensive guys get to work with the offensive coordinator, but with Coach Day having to coach the guys, he's the head coach for the first part of the season. What do you anticipate the program sort of looking like when he takes over the program? Um, I would say it would be mostly the same, just because it's like the same infrastructure. It's not like a whole staff blow up or anything like that. So I, I think it'll be mostly the same. Uh, obviously, Coach Day has his own little flavor. He's not the same as Coach Meyer, but uh, yeah, I think Ohio State will be Ohio State. Well, how would you describe the difference in that? Let's say is it a different flavor. What, what would you say the main difference is? Um, I don't know. Since since Coach Day is younger, he's he's a little more relatable, and um, he has a good balance of um, being able to relate to his players while also being stern. And when it's time to work, it's time to work. It's, uh, yeah, he, he balances that really well. And uh, when your brother played out here, uh, how many games did you get to make it out to? Were you able to? None, because I, I was playing on Friday nights and he was playing on oh, Saturdays. That's true. That's true. So that's a good point. it was tough, but I was I was always watching from home. <laughs> Watch out, bro. Yeah. Watch out, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, just, like, just such a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just such a, I didn't can, know can you leave me alone? Right can you leave me alone, though? Huh? Can you leave me alone? I know, I know. That's on me. That's on me. Yeah, just, just me. get out of here. That's on me. I love you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's my roommate. He's one of my roommates. Yeah. So yeah, he always mess with me. And, uh, having the opportunity to actually be out here, like growing up with the Rose Bowl game, was that a big part of your New Year's Day at all? You want to watch it as with that? Um, growing up, I wouldn't watch like full football games, but it was always like something I would see on TV, and I was just like, dang, I would love to play in that game. But uh. And also, like watching the, that Texas USC game was definitely a crazy one. But uh, but yeah, I mean the Rose Bowl was always like, well, that's like a dream of mine to play in. Texas so, USC yeah. was, was more one of that, but I also wasn't sure I'm dating myself because I know uh, every year everybody gets a little bit younger from. Right. From well, that game. I was so young, like I was in and out of sleep during that that <laughs> entire game. Like, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun watching. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, let's talk about the big day. How you feeling in preparation for this? Uh, I haven't, I'm a, we're having a great time out here, just preparing and staying focused, while also just uh, just touring around the city and stuff like that, and enjoying California. So it's been a, 
Yeah, I, I have family out here, so it's, it's nothing really new for me. But uh, yeah, still, I love it when I come out here. I, I want to live out here one day, hopefully. But uh, yeah. So talk about preparation for the game. How's practice been going? Practice been tough. <laughs> we, we've been going hard. Uh, yeah, it's nothing new. We're, we're used to going hard and uh, and practicing hard, and competing every day, and uh, we're just, we're just excited for the challenge coming up. When you step out on the field for Rose Bowl day, how were your emotions and your drumming? I don't know. It's, it's going to be just a dream come true, and to be able to play out play in front of my uh, my family out here in California because I have family out here just where, to play in front of them in, in Chatsworth. Okay. Yeah. Close. Yeah. So. So yeah, just to be able to play in front of them for the first time, man, it'll, it'll be really fun. What would be your signature mark on this game? What impact will you have? Uh, oh, I, I'm gonna just say, stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. Now you have a lot of family and friends coming to support you. I do. So as far as that inspiration, how much more will that add to the field to the fire? I mean, I, I wouldn't say I need too much motivation, but uh. That family aspect, them, be, be, them being there, being here to support me, that, that's just going to be a big factor, I would say. What was the highlight of your season? Any, give me one play so that was me at my best. Uh, I would say my interception against uh, the team up north. That was fun. And uh, just that whole win in general, it was just, it was just it was amazing. Who inspires you as a person, as a player, just in general? Who's your inspiration? Inspiration? Um, my family, I would say. Just uh just making them proud. That's that's my main goal in life, really. How's your education going? Really well. Really What's well. Major? Uh business marketing. Yeah. I was uh I was able to get uh academic all American for the second time this year, yeah. Congratulations. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. What are yeah. your plans after sports to utilize that? Uh after sports, uh Hopefully, maybe maybe start a business or something like that. Uh, stay connected with sports, though, for sure. But uh, we'll see. I, I I don't have that all figured out yet. Yeah. How's the, how are you enjoying the weather? Love it. Love it. That's the best part. That's the best part. Don't have to worry about uh, what to wear. Am I gonna have to wear sweats? Am I? You can wear whatever, and you'll be straight. So yeah. Give a big shout out to the team, the school, the fans, the yeah. family. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to everybody that supports me and the uh, and the Buckeyes. Uh, I want to say Happy New Year. Do you do an Instagram story, a little shout out on Big Ten Network? For sure. No pressure. <laughs> what do I say? Whatever you want. I mean, obviously with every reason, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have guys been saying? Just like Happy New Year and stuff like that. Yeah. Paris Campbell, just like the Buckeyes. You know, yeah, yeah. What's up, Buckeye Nation? It's Jordan Fuller. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all your support and uh, go Bucks. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. How's it going? You got time for a question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was talking with uh, some of the guys in the other room. They said they had a moment or two to kind of watch some of the semifinal action yesterday. Did you get a chance to watch Clemson or Alabama at all? Barely. I mean, I, I watched some plays, but I just saw the scores. Well, uh, even even with the other two guys in there, they said they said they didn't get a chance to watch it fully, much like yourself. Uh, were you guys tied up with some other things, or just weren't all that interested in? I mean, we had practice okay. for uh, for part of the Clemson Notre Dame when we were on a we were on the bus, and by that time, I just wanted to go to go to sleep after practice. And then for the other game, some of us were getting haircuts and trying to travel and stuff like that. You know what the restroom is, bro? <laughs> I think the restroom is that oh, way. But I'm in the middle of an so interview, bro. What, you doing something right now? Yeah, I'm in the middle of it. Is it a bad time? I think it's a bad time. But, um, yes, that way. <laughs> when, you, when you saw those scores. That's crazy. When you saw those scores from the semifinal games yesterday, uh, what was your thoughts, your initial thoughts on that? Um... I mean, I don't, don't want to disrespect nobody, but uh, make no headlines, but I definitely feel like we should have been in there. Yeah. So good. Um, Scott, watch 
Washington and Jake Brown. Is he one of the better, the best quarterback in this year? He's definitely one of the. He's, he's, he's really talented uh, in terms of throwing the ball and commanding the offense, but uh, his, his ability to extend plays as well is, is really impressive. So is, we definitely got a challenge. What, what quarterback maybe that you face this year would you compare him to? Uh, or might be the closest? To? Closest? I'd probably say like a... I don't know. I, I can't really say. Maybe like a Shea Patterson, but he's when, when he scrambles, he, he scrambles to throw. He doesn't really scramble to run. So, uh, so he's, he's unique. He's unique. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Steve Bartan. I'm the board of the Young People. These are works to inspire the staff of drugs and out of games. Okay. So, what motivates you? What, what keys to success could you tell young people? Uh, I'll, I'll say what motivates me is my family and just wanting to make them proud. And Because um, I know they're dependent on me. And uh, I always play for Ohio State, but I always play for the name on the back of my jersey, too, and just uh, just making them proud in everything I do. Um, when you play at a high level, is there a certain time in the high school or college where you felt really comfortable in your position, where you could see the whole field and just felt confident and comfortable every time you went out on the field? Yeah, um, I would say now it's like that. Um, I wouldn't say comfortable, but that confidence is there. And um, yeah, never, never really nervous to play anymore. Maybe like freshman and sophomore year, I was a little nervous, like in the beginning and stuff like that. But as time goes on, as as you get more reps, uh, you definitely get that confidence, and it feels good. I would say the same. He's, he's the same guy, same uh, hard-nosed guy, hard worker, and uh, always challenges his players to, to be great. And uh, that's what I appreciate most about Coach Meyer. And, uh, the foot is always on the gas. Does that feel weird, though, he's stepping away, that he would still be that same hard-nosed, that detail-oriented guy? That's just who he is. He, does, he doesn't know any other way, so uh, that's, that's definitely what I expected. Um, part of me was sad, but part of me knew like he had to do what he had to do for for his health and for his health reasons and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm just happy for him, just what he was able to accomplish in his career, and hopefully we can get this win for him on Tuesday. Are you surprised then? Did you said you stepped in line. Not surprised, because all all year you could kind of tell he wasn't. All the way himself. You, you could tell he was hurting a little bit, but. Uh, what, like, what did you see? Um, just at times, just you, you could tell he didn't have like the the same energy or the same juice. But, um, but yeah, Coach Myers, Coach Myers, we love him. There's yeah. been a lot of speculation of him coming back eventually mm -hmm. to coach. Is that the kind of thing Would you be surprised if he started coaching with him? Yeah, I would be. I would be surprised, yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, just because I know uh, he has grandchildren. I, I know I know he's gonna be uh, taking care of them, and uh, I, I know I know he's gonna be busy on campus and stuff like that too. So, so yeah. <laughs> you really do think this is a this is yeah. putting help for Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. How would you feel if he did decide to come back? Um. I mean that's his decision. I mean, if, if he decides to come back to coach, that's that's the best decision for him. But uh, yeah, I, I don't see it right now. Yeah. Wow. Huh? Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> not not so surprised, <laughs> but because uh, I, 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 I mean, you, you kind of tell he wasn't all the way himself all year, but um, yeah, and 
he just had to make the best decision for him at the end of the day. How important is it to win this big game for him? Tell me you think it's good. Tell me you talk about every day. Is that right? It's not something we talk about, but it's definitely in the back of our minds just, just getting this win for Coach Meyer and uh, getting the wins for the seniors as well. <laughs> Why should people watch the uh, Rose Bowl on Tuesday? Huh? Why should people watch the Rose Bowl on Tuesday? Um... Big Ten powerhouse and the Pac-12 powerhouse going at it, and uh, like the Rose Bowl should be. <laughs> I yo, man. <laughs> you got a question? Jordan, I have a question. Smart guy. Smart guy. How do you feel coming to Ohio State, Jordan? You know, Ohio State is it's just amazing. I know you are probably zooming in on my face. But uh, the Ohio State is amazing just being with my teammates and um, I love them, man. I, I really do. I just They get on my nerves a lot, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, they're great. I have a question for you. <laughs> What's up? If there are four mm -hmm. fishes in the tank, yep. <laughs> two drown, one swim away, how many are left? <laughs> <laughs> it's still four fish left because they're all in the tank and the fish can't drown. And what happened to the other one? Though? <laughs> That's <what I> mean. <laughs> he can't swim away, he's in the tank. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>